Hi friends, subscribe our channel and click the bell icon today for more videos. Water is the basic element of nature and it is the main source of life in our earth. It covers 70% of the earth's surface, but actually it represents 0.05% of earth's total mass. The total volume of water present in the earth is near about 1.386 billion cubic kilometer. 333 million cubic miles. Out of this volume, 97.5% is salt water, and 2.5% is fresh water. Only 0.03% of fresh water is present, as a liquid form in the earth. It provides life, eases out heat, drains harmful substances, and mediates many day-to-day -day works. Today's topic is, Water Cycle. The water cycle also called, the hydrologic cycle, it's a continuous process that includes five steps. These are, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, runoff, and, percolation. Now, we will learn with an example. Evaporation. The water cycle starts with evaporation. It is a process where water at the surface turns into water vapor. Water absorbs heat energy from the sun, and turns into vapors, from the water bodies like, the oceans, the seas, the lakes and, the river bodies. These are the main source of evaporation. Through the evaporation, water moves from the hydrosphere to the atmosphere. As the water evaporates, it reduces the temperature of the bodies. Condensation. In this process, water vaporizes into water vapor. It rises up in the atmosphere. At the high altitudes, the water vapor changes into very tiny particles of ice. Water droplets, because the temperature at high altitudes is low. This process is called condensation. These particles, come close together and form, clouds and fog in the sky. In this process, changes the state of water from gas to liquid. This occurs, because the water droplets combine to make bigger droplets. Also, when the air cannot hold any more water, it precipitates. At high altitudes, the temperature is low, and hence, the droplets lose their heat energy. These water, droplets fall down as rain. Note. If the temperature is very low, below zero degrees, the water droplets fall as snow. Water also precipices in the form of drizzle, sleet and hail. Hence, the water enters lithosphere. Runoff. As the water pours down, in whatever form, it leads to runoff. As water runs over the ground, it displaces the top soil with it, and moves runoff is the process where water runs over the surface of earth. When the snow, melts into water, it also leads to runoff. The minerals, along with the stream. This runoff combines to form channels, and then, rivers and ends up into lakes, seas and oceans. Here the water enters hydrosphere. Percolation. Sometimes, this water turns into groundwater, or water, that is soaked up into the ground. This process is called percolation. Water flows downward, under the layers of the soil, and then, it starts again. Thank you friend, for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Let's grow up, never stop your learning. Hi friends, subscribe our channel and click the bell.